<clears throat> okay, INFJ. Introvert, intuitive, judgmental, and feeling. Apparently, only 1 to 2% of the world is, has, or 1 to 2% of the people all over the world have this personality type and more rare in men, around 0.5 to 1%. And I am one of those. And I don't know what to make of that. It's like the personality type was so rare and when I read more it's like an accurate description of my life why I do a lot of things and when I am why am I so receptive to unorthodox information information like people's emotions, people's feelings, people's intentions. I could see beyond doors. I could see beyond paper. I could see what people see while they're writing something or while they're making an email. It's kind of a double-edged sword. It helps to see through people. And it's weird for people that I talk to. I could see problems as they come. Makes it good for future rendering. Makes it bad for people who don't who doesn't understand it. It's a double-edged sword. It's a gift, they say. And in, with as far as relationships go, it makes me understand more why. <laughs> like, I'm hardly, yeah, finding the right person because I subscribe to a, to my biology on that end. Really, really only for intimate relationships and and having the difficulty to open up on the onset. Now I understand why people try to like frame me as there's something wrong in me, where it's not. It's not. It's just. It's just that. I'm. I'm just biologically wild, biologically wild to do stuff unconventionally than most. Plus, I'm conscientious based on my big five test. So I tend to do more stuff than the normal or the average person. And yeah. Now, there's criticisms about this test. And it's a credible one, Dr. Peterson, who is more of an advocate of the Big Five test. Which the Big Five test open, uh, focuses on openness, narcissism, it's like traits, the five traits on judging a, pers a person's uh, ability to navigate the world. So I might dig into those fine layers of details. I just find it creepy and fascinating yesterday to came across an idea that best describes how am I navigating the world. As of the moment, I'm still I'm researching like I always do in a lot of articles. I just don't believe stuff. But it makes a creepy uh, yeah, account of what I've done in the past 33 years of my life. But it's a bloody amazing thing. If I am one, I could do shit. I could try navigate myself to focus on coding, which is what I'm trying to do. What I'm trying to do, and maybe fix a bunch of shit, electronic shit, around the web. Or I'm also drawn to physics. Maybe 
I get to answer why only we could we could account 5% of the universe and 4.9 to be exact and the other 95 point something percent unavailable, unavailable to be measured by our current science how freaky mind-blowing is that and yeah I could do a ton of shit with this ability if it's I'm not that purely convinced I'm just good I'm just partially convinced because it explains a lot the articles that I've read introvert that introvert deer that com has is, has been cited to a lot of news facility and has tons of INFJ articles which I read yesterday and it, <laughs> yeah, it's re really really creepy to see how my story is patterned to what they're saying and it made sense that I could see through uncanny information like sip into like dig into a kind of information like no other it's not the case for past 34 years I thought that people are just being misinformed I never thought that I'm different 